Before we continue from where we left off, I think it might be best to take a look at the history of Hungary to gain a better image of the political structure that's going to be created as we go on. Hungarian tribal nomads arrived in the Pannonian Basin at the end of the 9th century under the leadership of Arpad. The sparsely settled area was at the time mostly inhabited by Slavs, who would now start to adapt and intermix with the newly arrived Hungarian nomads. As the tribe settled the new area and adapted to a new way of life, the Hungarian warrior nobility took up their usual hobby of raiding the riches of the surrounding areas. Sometimes they raided as a unified force, but more often as individual tribal forces. At first they were hired by other European lords as mercenaries, but they soon started to raid on their own initiative. Through those raids, they also started to learn about European politics, society, geography, diplomacy, etc, etc, etc. All of that information made raiding itself easier, but would have other effects down the line. Their main raiding areas were Germany and Italy. They most certainly raided the forming Slavic states surrounding them, but there is lack of written record about it while the Byzantine Empire proved to be a too hard of a nut to crack. But Germany and Italy were ripe for the plunder. The collapse of the Carolingian Empire and the dominating feudal anarchy meant that there was no united force or organization that could respond effectively to the Hungarian raiders. Many chose to pay the Hungarians tribute to spare their territories from the raids. For over half a century, the Hungarian raids ransacked Germany and Italy, a few times taking up raiding expeditions all the way to France and the Atlantic coast, at one point even striking into northern Iberia. The Hungarian raids lasted until the middle of the 10th century, when Otto I took control of Germany and organized an effective defense, ultimately striking a decisive blow to the Hungarian raiders at the Battle of Lichfield in 955. Even before the battle, the Hungarians were finding it harder and harder to raid as Germany and Italy consolidated, and even successful raids were not yielding as much profit as before. There is also the fact that after two generations in Europe, the Hungarians were no longer a long trekking nomadic raiding people. Things had to change internally as much as externally. One of the biggest changes was the consolidation of power in the hands of Arpad's descendants. While the Hungarian tribe settled, Arpad and his descendants took the biggest chunk of territory under their direct control. 